the Sultan of Johor here. He loves this coffee. There's actually a picture of him here on the wall. This is my favorite. I gotta tell you, Johor really has our favorite foods now. <laughs> This video will be somewhat different from our usual episode here in Puerto Prince. But first, let us take you to how we got here. Here's our lunch. Ooh, we got curry puffs. <laughs> and this is dessert. <laughs> Thank you. It feels like we're at Grand Central Station or any major train stations in New York. <laughs> that, we're here. These are for people who get motion sickness. I really appreciate that. We have like plastic bags on there, mm -hmm. <laughs> especially on the ferry. <laughs> So we are in a town that's about two hours train ride from Johor Bahru. Really starving, so I think we're ready to get a lot of food today. That place looks very interesting. Should we go? Yeah. It's All right. Box park at the sky. <laughs> it's close, I think. Here at the box park, the pain. Getting up here, the mall was abandoned. Now that we're here, there's really nothing going on. It looks like a very cool place. Yeah, when, when it's, it's popping. Popping and alive. But right now it's empty. It will be a nice spot to look at the city from above. Yeah. Okay, well. Yeah. Off to our next one. Our cholesterol definitely will not thank us for this, but this is not an everyday thing. I've been craving pork for the longest time. I don't know if you can hear the crunch of the pork skin. This is legendary. This place that we got it from is a butcher shop. So we just got this, ordered it from them, and there's no seating. place I was really excited about when researching about Kuang and there's supposed to be like a butcher that comes in around nine o'clock just with whole pigs we didn't see that maybe this, it's a Monday night maybe it's not an every night thing but we got what we wanted is the roast pork so this is the only window that's open you see everything is closed here late night in this area of Kuang it's nine o'clock at night everything is closed except there's one bright window that's like the oasis in this in this darkness of the area, just with this beautiful roast pork. So you have the big slabs of the roast pork belly here, and they chop it up for you, and however much you want. It's nice and easy. So we got 10 ringgit portion here of the roast pork. We also got the char siu glistening. It looks beautiful, look at that. Look at all the fat in here. It just looks, it just glistens off the light. I can't even talk about it anymore. I'm just gonna take a bite of it. Look at that, crispy skin, with the juicy meat, and the fat layers. Let's take two bites. Mm. Mm. It's got a wonderful flavor. It's not too salty. And you got a little bit of that nice five spice flavor underneath. And it's got that perfect crispy skin, moist, 
juicy fat and meat. I could just eat this all night long. This one portion, I'm definitely going back for more. I already know it. Now it's time to go into the char soup. This piece is calling my name because it's got that little crispy, darker outside here. Take a bite. Mmm. Whoa. This char soup more than any other char soup I've ever had. There's a little bit of smokiness to it too, which I love. It's got that sweetness that you wanted to trust you, but that smokiness is really coming in nicely. Wow. The crispy edge is really that best piece right here, I think. Actually, the first bite I took of this was just the, the big outside chunk, and it's beautiful. Look, look at that. I just love that it's not too sweet. Mm. Get another round of this, too. This is incredible. And this, this is the whole vibe of it. So you, you take it down the street, you got a beer with it. I mean, roast pork and beer is such a winning combination. I love it, the vibe, delicious. This is a must in your clong. If you eat pork, you gotta come here. It's a must. Mm. Good morning from this little town of Kluwang. Yeah. Today we're gonna go exploring. It's our first. <laughs> it's our only real, like, full, it's like our full day. <laughs> so it says, Yesterday we arrived late and most of the stuff that or the stuff or the food that we want to eat are not open. So today will be the big exploration day. And yeah, we're walking to the first location or the first stop. Very famous. This is very famous. Look, I'll give you a hint. Ta-da! Alright, let's go. Stepping in here made us feel like we're going back to Johor Bahru, but actually not. We are at Kluang Rail Coffee, the original Kluang Rail Coffee here in Kluang. Of course, how many times do I have to say that? <laughs> and this is our first meal of the day. We're having toasts, kaya, and eggs. This is gonna be fun. This is just the first stop. The Kluang Royal Coffee is a classic. It dates back to 1938. Now, when you look up places to go in Kluang, this is gonna be right at the top of the list. And we love coffee, so we gotta get in here and I'm actually just take a sip of this coffee first. Mmm. Oh, it tastes good. This one definitely tastes a little stronger. Got to school some of the Malaysian coffee lingo we've been schooled on in the last few months here. So, Kopi O means coffee with no milk but sugar. But if you say kosong, it means nothing else. So if you want just a plain black coffee, no sugar, no milk, I'd order kopi o kosong. I got it hot, so I like my coffee hot in the morning. And minus ice. It definitely tastes the difference between this coffee and a lot of coffees we drink here. It's got definitely a stronger, kind of smokier flavor to it, really good. And we gotta get our classic breakfast. So we have the kaya toast. We actually got the kaya bun. So this one, the bun has been grilled on charcoal. So you have that big slab of butter that's been melting in here and the kaya, the coconut jam. Let's take a bite of it first by itself. Mm. That butter is so creamy. The kaya is not too sweet, but it gives you that sweet savory combo. That's some more savory. We have this beautiful half boiled egg here. We got the kampung chicken egg, so that's more like, so it's a very orange yolk. You gotta do, you gotta dip it in there. Mm. That's the ultimate way to get it right there. You add a little of that white pepper, you add a little soy sauce, you get a little salty, a little pepper, mix in with the egg, then you get the sweet, buttery kaya bun here. Mm. This is the best way to eat it. Wow, this coffee is really strong. I'm not really like a coffee person. It's been a year since I've been drinking coffee every day. And I'm loving this one. And look at this Kaya. Hmm, I'm so excited. This is my favorite. I gotta tell you, Johor really 
has our favorite foods now. <laughs> We are at our second stop. This is Tangkap Beef. We were here yesterday, but yesterday they didn't have what we wanted to get, but we still ate beef soup, which is also good, and we're ordering it now. Clay pot beef ribs. So Tangkap Beef, they really specialize in high quality beef. Really looking for while researching is the clay pot beef rib and it's right here, it looks incredible. When you look at the main menu here, it's actually not listed. So on this menu, you won't see it. You actually, the only way you know they have it is if you read about it or if you see this little insert on the table. So this is really like the hidden gem of this spot for what it looks like. I'm a fanatic for beef ribs. I love when they're cut like this with the bone like this and the, the tender meat just hanging off. Just from looking at it, the beef looks insanely tender and you have it with these Enoki mushrooms, you have pickled vegetable in here, you have the fried shallots, you have chopped scallions in here. It looks incredible and that nice beefy broth. All right, I'm just gonna go right in with the hands and take a big bite here. Comes off the one way too easily. Oh, beef rib is so rich. It's got that nice like cartilage connection too, so you get a little bit of chew to it. I'm telling you, beef rib is one of the best cuts of meat around for that tenderness. You cannot get meat more tender, I think, than beef rib when it's done right. It's been soaking in that really nice beefy broth in here. It's gonna be nice to mix it all up. I love the flavor that those pickle vegetables give. They're a nice tanginess to it. The broth here is excellent. You're gonna see all those bubbles of fat and the fried shallots really give it a nice flavor. Very distinct flavor. You add that in with the pickled veggies, the scallion, the beefy broth. It's got so much going on. So this beef rib came right off the bone. Look at that. You got that luscious layer of fat covering the meat. It's crazy. Look at that. I'm actually gonna cut it so we get a closer look in between. Barely need to cut it. Wow, look at that. Just encased in this layers of fat. It's beautiful, look at that. So you have that tender beef rib meat right here in the middle. It's like sandwiched in between these layers of fat, wow. You have to come here for this beef rib, but come early. We came here around four in the afternoon and they were done. So come here early and get it. Ask ahead of time if you want. We made sure, she even remembered us from yesterday. She said, yep, got it but this is very special, it's so worth it. So if you're a beef or blubber like we are, you can smell the beefy broth down the street even. Like when you walk in, you really get it with it, but down the street, you can really smell that beef broth. Like this place, it's called Tonkak Beef for a reason. They specialize in the beef and it is amazing. Talk about farm to table wow. beef soup. This is the place to be this we've learned so much of this place by talking to the third generation owner of the place he was telling us that his grandfather started this business in Tangkak on a cart yeah. on a cart They're selling now, a soup out of a push cart well out of a store now they have six branches around Malaysia it's family owned business amazing. from humble beginnings this is amazing and the quality of the beef is just so good you can just taste it you can just it melts in your mouth because it's from their own farm that's insane so they even sell their beef at the local market here in Kluang too really special like can't thank them enough for sitting down with us and giving us the whole story and all the branches are actually owned and operated by the family as well uncles aunties you name it it was really special so no matter where you are you like beef check out Tangkak beef we can't stress enough we've been here twice and we don't regret coming twice in the span of less than 24 hours it is so oh. good
So we are at the um, industrial neighborhood here in Kluang. We're not here to fix cars or whatever, to look for cars or whatever. <laughs> we are here for coffee and the coffee here, you can really smell it's being roasted oh. right now. I mean, wow. The smell is torture, it smells <laughs> so good. Three o'clock, wow. so we probably need a pick-me-up. That's why we're gonna have coffee. And also, let's see how how many sachet coffee that we're gonna bring with us back to JB. Yeah. We love to drink coffee in the morning with the sachet. Like, that's the interesting out here in Malaysia, the coffee sachet. So think like a tea bag, but with coffee in it. <laughs> So excited because the aroma of this roasting coffee is incredible. So we're here at the Kluang Coffee Powder Factory here, and it dates back to 1966. So unfortunately, during a situation now, we can't go in the back and see them roasting it, but we can get the smell. That's good enough. And the beautiful thing when you come here, you actually can try their coffee free. They have white coffee, this one. They have the copio, the black coffee here, and you just pour into these little paper cups. It smells so good. I'm gonna take a sip of this. Hmm. Okay, this one has the sugar in it. Ooh, but it's so rich, dark. I'm digging this. It's really strong already. I, I can feel after a couple sips, this is some strong coffee. It's already sold me. I'm gonna buy some sachets. I'm gonna buy a bag of sachets to bring because this is delicious stuff. And I love the logo here too. They actually have the old school TV. That's why that's their logo of the Kulan coffee. And also the Sultan of Johor here, he loves this coffee. He's actually a picture of him here on the wall. He apparently orders this coffee all the time. So that's also nicknamed Sultan Coffee. It's interesting here in their coffee mixture, they use three types of beans. They use Liberica, Robusta, Arabica. And the Liberica is actually local Malaysia coffee bean. So they combine local Malaysia coffee with two imported types. That's how they get their blend. And they also have these biscuits. Crackers. Cracker, biscuit. I think you guys gotta go. Let's dip it in. Yeah, if I live here in Kluang, I come here every day to get my coffee. <laughs> so, unfortunately, we can't go in there because it's MCO or because of the SOP. But it's cool that they have a monitor here somewhere. Over there, right there. Where you can see the how the coffee here is being processed in this factory. We're here at the last stop of our Kluang food adventure, uh, Kluang Chendol Crater. Oh, the santan here smells so good. We just smell the, so fresh. So this spot is a real old school place here in Kluang. And this is one that we were looking for a good chendol here. We've basically been hooked on chendol ever since Ipoh for about three months now and running. So this one looks really nice. First thing I noticed with the beans, the beans actually has like a puree texture with it. So it's actually making the chendol when you mix it darker. Not just the gula malaka, but it's also the beans. So this looks really interesting. And this is old school chendol. There's no, no fancy additions here. You just have your chendol noodle, your santan coconut milk, your gula malaka, red bean, chendol noodle, that's it. No fancy, no additions. That's what you see is what you get. When you order, this is exactly what you're gonna get. I'm gonna take a sip. Mm. Oh, this one's really sweet. You definitely taste that red bean. Gula Malacca is nice and strong here. Mm. It's so refreshing and cooling right now. I do happen to like chendol. It's a little sweeter, a little heavier on the Gula Malacca, so this is definitely my style. Though pretty much every chendol we've had, I've enjoyed, but stronger on the Gula Malacca, I like. I think 
I really enjoy this. Mm. You can tell from that darker kind of tan color that's going to be, I just had a feeling it's going to be a little heavier on the Gula Malaka, and it is. I'm going to have to order one more bowl before we leave. Just about open from 10.30 to 6 o'clock. So you got to come here. So it's perfect for a mid-afternoon snack after you eat heavy meals or drink a lot of coffee like we did. 70 years. Wow. wow. Same location, original, ah, yes. one and only. Wow. Wow. This place. This wow. Just like that, our time in Kluang, it's almost over 24 hours in Kluang. Yeah, just about 24 hours. We enjoyed it. We had so much fun in here. It's a nice town. It's a really nice place. It's a place where you, know, you can get fresh meats, fresh coffee. It's really a special place. Like. Ooh, smelling. That was delicious though. It was delicious. What was that? We are actually moving to another room. <laughs> That's my tea, the culprit. Mm -hmm. Round two. 